Hello. Back on the project cars, man. I ain't been in this game for a while. I ain't been on this game for a while. But I'm actually, I'm actually on my PC this time. Um, took me some getting used to again, getting back on this game. But <coughs> I thought I might as well do a bit of setup work, cause I ain't, I've been slacking on the old P cars. Um, I'm gonna use the Renault real quick. I sort of had a go, I had a little going time trial earlier with the Renault. So I'm gonna see what it's saying. I find PC a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit different. Hold on, let's see if the conditions are right. I think these are the the AOR conditions, which I'm not taking part in this season. For the first time in ages, I'm not doing AOR. But um, I needed the break. You know what I mean? Needed the break. I think the conditions are right. If they're not, then that well. But I'm gonna work on the uh, I'm gonna work on the Renault. I think I've got like a little base set up already. But I don't know how it feels with the actual conditions of the race. But yeah, man, it's been a long time since I've done a race setup. Not for ages. I've, to be honest, I've just been on other games, man. I've been on, um, I've been on Race Room. I've been on the newest Seto. So let's see. So as I said, I had a, a little basic time trial setup. Let's see. Well, the conditions are definitely a lot cooler than it is in time trial for one. Um, let's have a look. I know it's a lot of people on PC. They seem to run um, run this a lot higher, but so used to being on PS4 where normally it's down here. So let's see. I'm not too sure, man. see what else we can do obviously I think I've got mechanical failures and all that stuff on so I try to run it as close as I can to the actual AOR set settings they've got which is mechanical failures on now uh, um, I think um, I'm not sure how many laps it is but I'm pretty sure back in the day when we did Algarve in season was it season 8 I'm sure it was about 36 laps so I'm gonna Put in about 38. Um, probably need a bit more engine braking. That's cool. Actually, it might even go down on ABS a little bit. Let's see. Diff. Um, I'm expecting the grip levels to be a lot less. A little bit. Just a couple of basic changes, I think. Let's put this up. Yeah, put the brake pressure down a bit. But I feel the brakes are quite good on this car, to be honest. Um, so let's see. Two seconds. Um, right. I can't believe it. I meant to get on earlier and live stream, and then I thought I watched the Arsenal match, and then. I found out that Arsenal played earlier on in the day, so I just basically just wasted time for no reason. Save. Um. Let's 
So I didn't, I haven't really played this game properly since the end of of uh, last season. And when I got back on, oh my god! Even now, I'm so rusty. I feel so slow. It's unbelievable. I'm literally very slow at the moment. Well, I feel very slow at least. to work. Let's see what this is saying. Go, go, go. Oh, what? Uh oh, what have I done? What have I done? I've already messed up, lads. I've already messed up. There's like no, no damage on, no nothing. I thought I'd change the settings and stuff. I don't know whether this is like PS4. If you start it with your control pad, then you just got to restart the whole game. Hopefully it's not. Oh well, I've got to go to the settings. I can't get, um... I feel like a stranger. I haven't played this game for so long, it's crazy. Alright, mechanical failures, yes. Tire wear. I think it's on accelerated this season. Um... Yeah... Pit stop, no, we don't need none of that. I think that's all good. Let's get back, get back in there. Now what's up, Junior Schmittel? I think that's how you say your name. Yeah, what's happening, Marcos, man? I have to admit, like, uh, some of the setups, I'm not sure if they transfer perfectly 100% from console to PC because I, I noticed that before I think yesterday or the day before yesterday I was in the Lamborghini around PS on, on the PS4 going around this track and um, it, I tried the exact same setup on PC and it just did not work at all so I don't know it's a weird one but there's there, there is little little differences that I've noticed in terms of um the way how the cars feel especially I've noticed in the hairpins on the PC the uh, the rotation is not as fast it's not as snappy PS4 kind of tries to kill you great installed the car wonderful I'm sure did I put damage on does it matter I don't think it matters as long as I've got mechanical damage on I think oh we have a pulse God, how long has it been? Jesus. Three, four weeks might not be a long time, but it's definitely a long time for me to not play a game that I used to play all the time. So what, what cars are people going with for this season, man? I wonder what this um, track's going to be like with the accelerated tire wear. But the, the conditions ain't too hot, so it shouldn't be too bad. This is one of them corners that is just can just be just a nightmare. But I notice if you actually brake in the higher gear, it's a lot more stable. Feel too bad even on the cold tires. 
little lift just to get it to turn in. Hopefully the tyres warm up. Be a little bit better. Oh god. Traction doesn't seem too bad. Actually feels quite nice, whether it's quick or not, it's a different story. That can be a tricky acceleration zone as you come over the crest. Tighter than the apex that time. And it is hella slow. Uh -oh. We'll ignore that for now. There. I think I'm in by that time. I feel a bit more grip this time. I don't even know what time we're supposed to be getting in race pace or anything like that. I'm definitely a little bit out of loop. I know what the problem is already. For some reason, when you in the Renault, when you go into the first corner and you stay in sixth gear, it makes it really hard to get down to third. So next time I'm going to go into seventh gear and I should actually be able to make the corner. I, I will do the Lambo. Um, I might. I've got quite a decent setup for the Lambo on the PS4, but it just totally doesn't work on the, on the PC, so maybe I might stream off the PS4 or something like that. The Renault 4 is pretty easy to drive around here, to be honest. It's 
car so easy on power. Last corner, this car. I'm wondering what to uh, have my engine temperature at. See that? Much easier to get down to third now. Better. Kill me there. We're well up on the time that we did before. Couldn't quite hold it as tight on the last corner. Should be a decent improvement. Interesting, one engine damage already. Pretty easy to drive the Renault. I remember it being a little bit more oversteering. Got the curb. I seem to be wearing evenly. Hmm. I'm not seem to hold that tight line. I look on my front left. It's cooling down. Okay. Okay. We've learned some stuff. You know what it doesn't even feel bad I'd love to tell you I'm gonna make lots of changes that's gonna make it like way quicker but you don't feel too bad to be fair all right yeah that's crazy 40.8 40 is crazy man I'm on the hards I believe automatic by weather I'm sure that's hard tires Wait, that's not too bad, man. What car are you guys in? Uh, 
All right, 38 laps worth of fuel. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I've only, I've only, uh, I haven't tried any other car in race space. And then the Renault, Renault struggles a bit with power, but it's, it's nice through the corners. This was the car that I used in, shit, what season was that? Um, uh, season 9, I believe. Um, radio. I might actually be damaging the car because I'm so used to just going down the gears way too quick. Um, my three, you could probably, might be able to get away with running the radiator more closed, but I'm going to leave it anyway. But I'll probably I might I might do some other cars, man. I'll do some other cars maybe tomorrow, or tomorrow Friday. Yeah, nothing's happening tomorrow. I'll probably do another live stream tomorrow. Do a different car. I just literally just wanted to get back on the game and get back in the swing of things because I've been slacking. But the car feels decent. It feels decent. Not gonna lie. Maybe for the race I might try I might try one on the front maybe. And see, I think a lot of the setup, even I just downloaded a, the fastest time trial time that was up there with a setup and made a few little changes. But normally, my setup in the Renault, I think, was a lot different to this. It was very, um, very stiff at the rear, and I never used to run any front downforce, so I used to be running about zero five and then. I'd have this complete opposite way around. This is how I used to run the Renault pretty much all the time. But I'll try it, see if it works on PC. Um, if I can remember. I'm trying to remember what I used to do in this car. It's not easy. Um, and this used to always be on about 18 or something. I'll save it as something different so I don't save over the other setup. I'm gonna leave all this. Actually, I might put that up a bit. Yeah, I was I was looking at the calendar, <coughs> looking at the calendar for the season. It's pretty interesting to say the least. I'm, I'm waiting to watch the uh, the the race at Nurburgring combined. That's gonna be that's gonna be crazy. That's survival of the fittest, I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they did to the McLaren on this game, man. The game first came out, the McLaren was a decent car, but now it's just they just. Totally disrespected, and yeah, I'm on a uh, I'm on a T300, T300. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised in like um, SMS with the DLC that they didn't bring any more GT3 cars to it. I was probably expecting to see some some other gt3s maybe but i don't know i mean p cars won we got blessed with a few gt3s even though apart from the bentley the others weren't really saying much but it'd be nice if they did bring some of those in maybe the uh jaguar or something a few of the differences I'll talk about a few of the differences between project cars on the PC and project cars on the PS4 the, the first first thing I noticed on PC was the force feedback compared to the PS4 where the PS4 the force feedback's a little bit it's a little bit edgy like it's sort of I don't know I don't know whether the game just can't handle all the effects it has in it but it's, it definitely feels a lot smoother on the, on the PC Again, with corners like this on PS4, I can really make the car sort of just 
turn on a sixpence, whereas on PC, you've really got to steer through the corners. It's weird, I can't explain it. There's definitely a lot more oversteer on, um, on PS4, definitely. And in some cars, it probably helps, like the Lamborghini, which has a little bit of a little bit of understeer. So I think in the Lamborghini, it probably helps on the PS4. But in other cars, like the Audi and the um, like this car, it's a lot more stable than what I remember from PS4. A lot more stable. I don't almost drop it. But yeah, I like it. Definitely smoother. Sometimes on on, um, on PS4, this car was on the worst cars to drive on cold tyres, it was so snappy, it was crazy, but not really getting the same thing at the moment. But I might do now, as I've changed to my old sort of settings, let's see if it tries to kill me or not. I'm not sure whether that's because the tyres are cold or because of the setup. We'll have to wait and see. quicker than the outlet that I did before. Yeah. Who knows? Snappy now though. Interesting. What was 
fly out. I don't feel like I was out, to be fair. I slow, man. That's bullshitting. I don't know if my tyres would last if I was driving the race like this. But I really am just throwing it about the place. There you go. I mean, it's faster, but hmm, I don't know if you'd be safe. Put it that way. Um, yeah, Lexus would have been nice. What um what tier are you in, uh, Ian? Or are you in AOR? You must be in AOR. <clears throat> right, I was I was really I was really close to um kind of well not really I was kind of close to signing up kind of close to signing up I thought why not but then I, once I got the PC and I started killing race room and a set of courses and stuff. And I just didn't play the game. I didn't even have the game. I didn't. I didn't buy it. So I just thought, you know what? I'll just give it a break for a season, then, so I can actually enjoy watching it. Because <clears throat> I pretty much. Um, hold on. What have I done? What have I done? What's my phone doing? Oh my god! Get out of here! Yeah, um, I pretty much I, I watch all the races. I watch the uh, I watch the PS4. I'll even I'll have a look on the Xbox. Um, obviously, I watch the PC race. I watch the PC Tier Two race. I even watch the PS4 Tier Two. I literally go through and just watch all the races and just see what's going on. So sometimes you get you enjoy the race a little bit more when you can just sit back and watch it live, so you don't know what's going to happen. Because like we all normally, about four of us, four or five of us will just sit in a party and we'll all put the race on it. As soon as the, the PS4 race finished and we finished our race, we just put the PC race on and just all watch it at the same time. Pretty good stuff. But, uh, yeah, what can I say? I don't know what to change. I wouldn't, <coughs> I don't know if I would recommend what I've just done. It is definitely faster. Maybe put the rear wing up, just to secure you a little bit and um, even I swear I never ever I just used to run the engine braking on one I never used to run the engine braking on two in this car because for me it was one of the easiest cars to catch and I don't know if it still works I don't know if it works in other cars but I know for a fact in the Renault when you're about to spin if you hit the brake and the accelerator at the same time you just catch the car automatically no matter how sideways you are it just catches it but I'm not sure if it works in other cars but for the Renault definitely was one that worked. Uh, I'm not sure if people are even using the Renault. I ain't seen anyone in the Renault since basically season nine. Other than that, I think Ironic was in the Renault season nine as well. He was doing pretty well. I think he was in the uh, the second tier, but he was pretty fast in the Renault as well. I mean, it's a decent car. It's a nice car if you just if you're aiming for consistency, which was pretty much what I was aiming for in season nine because my season eight in the in the Audi was garbage absolute garbage I spun it at every single truck yes I will save over existing setup damn it I'll keep restarting I'm stupid I'm not even getting to see what the conditions are like but the tires seem to wear evenly the tires even run out I swear these hard, hard tires and going forever Oh, right, 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 big kid daddy, yeah, 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 I didn't know that, man, I didn't know that was you, pal. Yeah, how, what, I, I, I went over the, um, I had a look through the, uh, the sign-ups and the tiers, what are you still doing in tier two, I don't even understand, man, I'm not, I'm not going to disrespect none of the guys in tier one or 
calling your names, but I know factually you were quicker than a good portion of them guys in tier one. I don't know what is going on. You know what I mean, there's certain guys in tier one that I, I know they're. It's not. It's not that they're they're not good drivers or whatever, but I know like pace wise, like over a race distance, they're definitely not as quick as what I've seen you do. Because I watched the uh, I watched the evaluation races and everything, so. I don't know what's what's going on there. I remember last season. I'm pretty sure you won your evaluation race. They still stuck you in tier two. You need to be asking some questions, mate. Honestly, it's crazy. We actually we actually spoke about this similar sort of thing happened to a uh, um, printer on uh, but for the F1, he did really good in these evaluation races. He was beating some of the top guys, and then he just got stuck in the second tier. But I mean, on F1, there's a lot of a lot of competition but I feel like P cars definitely I mean I've seen you um I've seen David Ben going quicker than a lot of the guys that were in tier one and that was in their practice lobbies last season. Not too sure what's going on there. But um let's see. Go 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 I think the car's stable. I don't I'm not too sure about the, the tire pressures if the tire pressures are right. I think the second half of the race is supposed to be going to medium cloud or something like that, so the temperature will probably drop. So I think the tyre should be okay. Um, I'm, I'm hazarding a guess. I think the tyres will probably make it without a, a tyre change, to be honest. You know the drill. Let's get some temp into these tyres and brake. Because, I mean, what, how, when, when you put the tyre where to accelerate it, what, what is accelerated? Is it times two or is it... A little bit quicker. It's not like P cars normally you can pull it up times two, three, four, whatever. I think that probably would have been a little bit better because you could have forced people to change tires or forced people to look after tires a little bit more. But I still think um, you're going to be able to pit at the start of the race and you get clean air. I don't think the accelerated tire wear is really going to change much. If, if that's what they've done it for, I've, I've got a feeling that's what they uh, implemented. Um, the accelerated tire wear for to stop the sort of massive undercuts but I, I saw a few complaints about the undercuts but I, I don't really have a problem with it I mean I've used that tactic a few times but it's if someone's behind you and they pit early um, then just cover them on the next lap do you know what I mean that's that's racing at the end of the day I know a lot of people wanted to see the on track action but I like I like the strategy I like the strategy to it. If I'm racing and I say I've got Carl or CJ right behind me and they pit, I'm covering them the next lap I can, I'm not giving them any free air. But I get, obviously you can't, you don't know where everybody is on the track, so you can't cover everybody, but I don't know man, it's just it's racing at the end of the day. Got to try and be clever with it. I'm, I've used the undercut a few times. Obviously, you take the risk if you do the undercut. If you have an incident or anything, then you got damage and then you have to pit again. So it's risk and reward. Oh, my tyres are still way too cold. I've been going too slow. I don't know why we started. It was at 43, 113, so. I've got to try and get used to down gearing slower on this game. On on race room and the set of course, you don't really have a choice. It's like really natural to downshift slow, but on this game, it's just like imprinted in my memory, just banging down the gears. But I'm definitely thinking I'm going to be destroying my engine. So. And the only, the only reason why um, PS4 turned off the, uh, what was it, the mechanical failures, because I, I remember in the first season, season 8, it was so bugged, it was crazy, crazy. You'd have your engine open at 70 and your car would still be trying to blow up. I noticed with, with this corner here, if you, if you brake a lot, 
um, brake more gently and the back end doesn't step out as much but if you, the harder you brake then the more aggressive it is and the rear of the car seems to step out and I try to get my braking done in the higher gears the lower gears seem as well to make the back just step out more aggressively and then it's just harder to catch so it's a tricky corner that one because you really if you're if you're doing the in-car camera like I am it's tricky to see Now. One thing I don't understand about this game is the curbs. I mean, I've never played a game where curbs just completely pull you off the track. They're either ice or they just completely just pull you off the track. I don't get it. Who's done the new penalty system on this AOR? Well, Jesus Christ. I know I'm cutting, but god damn. Strict. Am I well off? I am well off. Fair dues. Fair dues. No, that was the last lap. Oh my god, hurry up. I feel like I'm off, but I'm not I'm not that far off. I might just be wrong. Sometimes in cars deceiving. I find this corner to me is quite tricky. I'm sure um, I did a I did an esports um, time trial challenge ages ago in the NSX. I think I got like top five or six or whatever. And I'm sure first gear was faster through there if I can remember rightly. I don't know. I'm sure first gear was faster. But let's see. See how bad these track limits are. Okay, fair dues, fair dues. I hold my hands up, AOI rules and all that. <sighs> Alright. What's happening? I can't say your name, is that? I'm PFOS, so I'm call you PFOS from Portugal. I'm at your home track right now, buddy. Yeah. I mean <laughs> to be honest, going into go coming into this game, all I was thinking about was just like trying to win a championship and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ring it. As soon as I get on as soon as I get on the game I'm gonna ring it. And for the first season, obviously the Ferrari was OP but I like the Audi so I picked the Audi and every race I was going in it just I'm just trying to ring it I ain't even I'm not even setting the car up for a race I'm just setting the car up to be as fast as possible that's what I was thinking about and I ended up binning it every single race and then 
think it was Kung Jarnix, he ended up finishing second in the championship in the McLaren. Just purely because of consistency. I don't think he dropped it once. He was never the fastest in any race, but he didn't drop it once. Ended up second in the championship. And after that, I was like, nah, I need to change my approach. I need to change my approach. And last season, not last season, the season before last in the Renault, I didn't make, I only made a mistake at the last race of the season when it was like already all over and I already had like a couple wheel bugs and glitches so I just didn't even care anymore and then um, yeah, I think I got like second in the championship, I don't, actually I don't know, I might have got second, I might not have because I DNF'd from a couple of races because of my wheel and then last season I thought like there was a couple of races where I was just crap and then I was either good or I was just bad. Uh, there was no in between last season, but I, I didn't make any mistakes apart from Rapuna and could have won the championship, but for the wheel again. Uh -oh. I don't know, like CJ just, I think he just lost concentration for the second half of the season. To be honest. He won the first five races and then it just all went wrong. I don't even know if he got another, I think he got one podium after that. I'm not too sure, but for me, the nail in the coffin was um, Sugo. Because I was leading at the time, and then that silly PS4 home screen bug straight into the wall. And I only ended up losing the championship by like, what was it, 11 points? And it was just, just annoying. And after that, I was just like, you know what, I'm just getting a PC. Because I know the T300 is not a bad wheel, it's just a annoying wheel on PS4 because if you get that that bug like I've got and a lot of people have got it's just it's race ending now it cost, it cost me a race win in season 9 in the Renault I think I would have been the first person to win outside of the uh, no actually um, I think Ronaldo was the first person to win outside of the Ferrari but I was leading the race by a good 14 seconds anyway and then I got it put me in the wall once and I didn't get any damage luckily and then the lap after it put me in the wall again and I was just pissed off and I ended up being a lap down from leading very annoying so I take it David Ben I take it you're picking the um, Lamborghini this season Good car. Just go back to the pits. Piss myself off. The car doesn't feel bad. The car doesn't feel bad at all. Let's go through this. So, I don't know, let me put this to hard tyres. So y'all know. It's strange on 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 console. I have everything in PSI, and then I watch the guys on PC, and they've got everything um, with bar. I think they're on. Is it Imperial or the other one? I'm not too sure which way around it is, but they're all kilometers power, and I'm all miles power. Very weird. But I'm so used to having a steer ratio. I actually think the the um, the having your steer ratio up makes the car a little bit more stable. But I'm just so used to this having it down here. And you're probably going to save tires having it higher. Um, well, I'm used to what I'm used to. But yeah, so let's be going through this setup. Let me go through it. Tire pressures, I think, are okay because the tires seem to be wearing at an even rate so far. Um, I think I had five ring on the rear when I did that time, but I mean, if you if you can finesse it, then you can get away with it. Or maybe you can go up on the engine braking, but or maybe one six. I don't know which way around you want to try. I personally 
had my steam ratio down, but I think steam ratio is definitely a personal preference thing, man. You can't really can't really tell someone a right or a wrong steam ratio, sort of what you're used to. Um, I would say I was I was quite successful with the Renault, being that I was racing Ferraris and that. So I know I I, I like setting the Renault up. I feel like I can get some decent time out of it, but it's definitely lacking on the power side. Like definitely, I can tell just by the speed that I go over the lineup. And when I tried the Lamborghini, I was just destroying the friggin' um, destroying the the Renault down the street. So I don't know. It's a it's a funny one. But anyway, dampers as I did on PS4, I made it stiff at the rear. Daniel Machado, what's happening, my bro? What's good? The patches. Um, do you know what? Because I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't play the game. I didn't play the game for a while, and then the patch came out, and then when I got back on the game everything felt different to me but I didn't know whether it felt different because I hadn't played it or it felt different because it just was different like, I'm not I'm not really feeling the fact there's no patch notes I, I like to know what's going on I like to know what exactly you've changed do you know what I mean sometimes you might jump in a car and in your head like I swear this feels different but you, there's, there's no proof do you know what I mean I think it's a little bit shady to be honest I think there should always be patch notes people want to know what's changed but um, I think I don't know. I felt like there was less. I think on PS4 from what was it patch five? I can't remember. I think patch five. I think they made it a little bit less oversteery. Like it was really snappy before. I think they tuned it out a little bit, and it was a little bit smoother. Um, and then they had another patch the other day. I think on PS4. I think I think everywhere had another patch the other day. I don't even know what it changed. It might have just been to fix some bugs or whatever. But um, I think the time I spent off the game has kind of clouded my judgment on how different it feels compared to previous patches. And now that I'm on the PC, to me the PC feels different to PS4, definitely. It's, it's not like a massive difference, but it's definitely noticeable. On the, the force feedback on console, straight up, it's just garbage in my opinion. Like the way it feels, it's just no good. On, on PC, it's, it's uh, definitely a lot smoother. Yeah, the, the Lambo, uh, I'm finding the Lambo understeers a lot more on PC. Oh my god. I literally did this track. I did a couple laps in the Lambo on PS4. Did like a 41 something. And then I came on here. I, I literally copied the exact same setup. Came on here. Oh my god, the cards would not turn in. My last sector alone is, and the last sector is what, two, three corners. My last sector alone was like three, four tenths down every time. Could not explain it. The tyres, I don't, hmm, I don't know. I don't, I, do you know what, it will be interesting. What I'll, when I watch the AOR race next week, Wednesday, I'm going to watch it and I'm going to see how the tyres perform with the accelerated tyre wear. I, I think people are going to be not, not changing their tyres at all. At all. I still think the tyres are probably too hard or they can't accelerate it enough to make people actually have to change tyres. But I think AOR should help it just by putting some of the races in really hot conditions, man. Force people's hand a little bit. I think these conditions are all a bit too cool, in my opinion. Like what is it? What is it now? Still 93. Mm. I mean, definitely. Put this right in the middle of summer. And then you have to think about the way you're driving the car. That's just my opinion. I want to see if anyone, if anyone's going to pick, um, or any of the fast guys on PC are going to pick the, uh, the AMG. It seemed to me last season it's a ridiculously fast car for qualifying, but in the race it just 
I don't know, there's something about that car that people are just not feeling. I mean, I was close to picking it last season, but I sort of had made up my mind on the Lamborghini. But then everybody else ended up in the Lamborghini, so it kind of spoiled it a little bit. If I if I was um, if I was going to do this season, I was going to do it in a Bentley. I was going to just do it in something completely different. And that, that's pretty much how that's pretty much how I am. Whenever I'm sat down or I'm watching their elite races, I I always cheer for the person who's in the car that no one else picks. So, for instance, like last season. I was definitely behind the Heidi in the Z4 because that was just crazy. That was crazy. The pace he was getting out of the Z4 was just stupid. And I think the season before that, who was it? I think we was uh, who was we supporting the season before that in the elite tier on PC. I think we were supporting um, uh, who was it? I think it was Murphy in the Janetta. Well, was someone in the Janetta anyway was supporting supporting. Him. Because whenever whenever the Ferraris weren't banned and someone was in the Janetta, that's all we Murphy and Tidgey, I think it was. Tidgey was in the Audi against the uh, Ferraris. I like to see the underdog win. To be honest, the softs have always been useless, unless it's really, really, really cold. Oh, I've done it again. But I, I, I personally think, like, the way how they could make the game more exciting is they need to make the softs um, durable enough to make them an option. And fast enough to make them an option for people to use, and then make make the the tire life just not last as long don't make them overheat so halfway around the lap they're useless and they're slower than the hard so make them so you can get sort of 10 laps out of them but then they just completely drop off a cliff and then the guys in the hard can catch you but say they're like a i don't know like over a second of that quicker then you'll have a nice little mixture of strategies and stuff like that but I get they want to keep it as real as possible and all that jazz, but sometimes for the sake of the racing and racing league, sometimes you've got to try and throw a little curveball in there. Because for me, softs, in, in all the races we've done in AOR since this game came out, I've probably used the softs about three times in quality and that's it. I think I used it once last season at Donington. I used the softs in the race because I knew it was going to rain. And then I used the softs for quality at Long Beach. Doing the works. I think that's it. I must have used it somewhere else, but I can't remember. But yeah, that's about it. The, the working range is very, very small for the softs. Imagine not even having them in the game. I completely lost my trade of thought when it comes to doing laps at the moment. I'm going wide. I wouldn't do. I'll just leave. I think um, this season, I think the M6 is going to be the dark horse. Someone really um, experienced, quick, picks the M6. 
I think that's going to be a dark horse because I'm expecting if someone who's sort of normally top five or six um, in their tier at Norse Life, I'm expecting them to absolutely destroy it. The M6 is a beast right now. The only problem is I'm not too sure how that car reacts in the wet. I think it's definitely a lot more strict than that. what happens guys this is literally how practice goes for me I start off well and then I just tail off into nothing this happens every single time so you know what it is it's because this is this is what happens for me personally once the car feels like I can push it everywhere in my mind I feel like I've done it it's done there's nothing more nothing more to achieve it's literally driving how I want it to drive, so there's point is just keep on driving and driving and driving. <coughs> but, yeah, I feel like that the main thing for me now when I set the car up is not it's not all about the speed. It's does it break when I want it to break? Does it snap under braking? And when I get on the power, is the back end loose? As long as all them things are fine, the rest of it I'm pretty cool with. I'll just make sure the car can turn in enough and then after that it's fine I don't really I don't really look for the out and out speed because a lot of the time the fastest setups are the, the hardest setups to drive and that's the thing you've got to bear in mind you can make a setup extremely fast you can put your canvas down and make it fly down a straight and put your rear wing down and stuff like that and if you can get one lap out of it in quali then good for you because you're probably going to destroy it but in the race it's just a nightmare man there's nothing worse than going into a race and from the first lap you can feel your cars unsettled because you know you got to spend the whole race like that it is so annoying yeah this is pc bro this is 
greasy man <clears throat> I might do some uh, I might do some work on the PS4 I might actually I might actually do a like a split screen video same car on PS4 and then back again on PC and just see what the difference is between them or see if you guys can notice the difference between them he's struggling with the back end of the of the Lambo um, what do you mean like on on turning corner exit what My nightbot's going ham in the chair. Oh god. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll, I'll do like. What, what? Who was it that asked for advice for the uh, Lambo? Yeah, I'll try that. I'll try the same setup. Um, I might actually do it in the Lambo, man. I might actually do it in the Lambo. Um, who is it that asked for advice? Detox. Yeah, Detox27. <coughs> yeah, um, I'll probably do it in the Lambo because I've already, I've already actually got a lap on PS4 that I did. And I'll do, I'll do it in... Um, I don't know if it's in time trial or race conditions, but maybe in time trial, because in time trial the conditions should be exactly the same. And from from what I'm hearing, um, from what I'm hearing, that obviously with the live track, you could get slightly different conditions. So obviously it's not going to be an, an, an exact match. So I'll just do it in time trial. I've already done a time trial um, lap for the Lambo on PS4. That was a couple of days ago. I was a bit rusty, but whatever. But um, I'll do one on on PC, and then we'll see exact same setup. We'll just see the differences. But yeah, um, corner exit, the back end just snaps around. Right. Um, right. At right, first, actually, I'll go in the Lambo quite quickly. Actually, let me just I uh, run through the setup. So if anyone is in a the Renault, they can just copy what I've got I think this will someone faster than me should be able to get into the 42s or someone who's just been on the game constantly probably get it into the 42s um, when I'm not competing I'm very sort of I can I can lose it very easily if I'm not competing I just I don't have the same drive to get on the game and constantly practice but um, I'm pretty sure the Renault will do a 42. I've noticed that the track temperature actually drops so that'll be the I think it's supposed to go to medium cloud isn't it? so the track temperatures are already starting to drop interesting that should be uh, should be a little bit easier for the, the left hand tyres around that last corner uh, dampers Copy that. Uh, ECU. I think I've got the uh, got the ABS down at 70. Obviously, your braking distance will be a little bit shorter, but if you're too hard on the brakes, you'll lock up. But for the for the Renault, it's no problem, man. The Renault's got great brakes. For something else like the Lambo, the brakes are a bit sketchy. I'm not too sure if you want to do that all the time, but. Let's move on. The diff 7030. Um, yeah, I thought like that was alright. Car's driving well. I still think probably a perfect lap for me would probably be like a 428 or something. I don't know. But I think fastest lap this was a 421 minute. So, alright, we'll get out of that. I did I did try the Lambo, stole a few setups. <coughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I seen I seen uh, was it um, Sir Race a lot and guys like that in tier one. Yeah, these are some fast guys, man, from PS4. I signed up this time. It's a pity we we all our paths didn't cross all at the same time. Would have been fun. I think the last time uh, tier one. Uh, what was it? Season seven. Oh, season seven was a great season, man. Season seven on PS4. Cheese. If you haven't seen that on my channel, that was crazy. Every race, every race, you just didn't even know who was gonna win, man. Did not know who was gonna win. It was just crazy. Right, let me jump in this Lambo very quickly and just see where are you. Um, there you are. I tell you what, you know what? Oh, what am I doing? Go back. This is what we're missing, lads. Livery editor. Now I'm I'm pretty decent on Photoshop, so I'm actually made my own livery. But bring this into the game for everybody, man. Let us make our own liveries and all sorts of fun stuff. Don't be so tight. But anyway, so this let's just get in this Lambo real quick. Oh my god, what am I doing? Yes, start. Yeah, I mean, <coughs> 40s, 40s is, is pretty rapid, man. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna reset to default, but right, what did I used to do in this bloody Lambo? Now, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. You might not, you might not think I'm being honest, but when we did the Lambo last season, I'd probably say nine out of ten times it was max wing. We literally just made the car stable. I used to have engine braking on about about four something like that and in practice what I do sandbag and just put the restrictor down I just drive around the restrictor closed so no one really knows the true pace until it gets to the race and then um, I'm gonna put the fuel up what was it I think it's gonna be 36 laps because I'm pretty sure 36 laps was what it was before but I don't know if the Lambo eats fuel but in the last race at Watkins Glen I'm pretty sure that I had more more laps than I needed and I still almost ran out of fuel so I'm gonna go up to 39 um, we'll leave the brakes for now I think sometimes I even went to 77 on the brakes for this car I feel like the Lambo gives you a lot more power out of the corners, but you get a lot more understeer when you go up in the power ramp. That's the only bad thing. Whereas in the Renault, you don't get any. Um, sorry, you don't. You get more understeer when you go up in the power ramp in the Lambo. In the Renault, you just all it does is just stop the wheel spin, and you don't really get any more um, understeer. But go up in the power ramp. I'm gonna try this. And normally, similar to the Renault, really stiff at the rear. Now, Carl, who was in Tier 1 last season, who doesn't even really practice, but he comes in and he's rapid, and for the second half of the season was probably the fastest guy as he joined second half of the season. He pretty much runs the Lambo, a lot of it on default. It doesn't change too much. And I started noticing after what was it patch? What was it the patch five? I think it was patch five. If you've got setups that you already had or previously to that patch, um, not even no. If you've got setups from other tracks and you just sort of load it as a base setup, it was definitely faster to reset the setup to default and then start again. I don't know what it was and what it did to the game, but. I would 
use a setup that I already had that I knew was a good setup like for instance my Rapuna Park setup that I had was nice and um, I would load it up um, on default I would, I would load up the Rapuna Park base setup and work from there and it worked until patch 5 and then after that I would load it up and then it would just be slow and then I started resetting it to default and then I'd, I would make the setup exactly the same as what it was before and then it would just be way faster but you have to go back to default don't load setups from other tracks it just slower for some reason but anyway yeah with the with the camber we were going like we were doing this for the Lambo last season like just loads of camber um, put that down a bit what else that was down I think oh um, god I'm trying to remember what we did to this car man I'll try to similar sort of tire pressures to what I'm using wrong way similar sort of tire pressures to what I'm using now I can't remember exactly what tire pressures I just had on, so bear with me. It's got to be something like that. Um, yes. Suspension. Yeah, man, CJ, CJ's got a PC as well, so, um, yeah, it was just one of them, it was just time, but I, I still play my PS4 a lot, man, I, I'm not even fully converted to PC yet, I'm on my PS4 probably more than I'm on my PC, I just, I like the driving games on PC, that's what it is, but I ain't gonna lie, man, I've been, I've been playing a lot of FIFA, because originally when I started this channel, all I did, I did FIFA, I didn't even do racing. I just did a lot of FIFA, set up um, custom tactics tutorials and all sorts of stuff like that. But obviously, I'm into my racing. I'm into a lot of sport, man. I'm into boxing, racing, football. Um, even, even tennis when it comes to Wimbledon time. I'll watch a bit of tennis. But the main one, the main one is probably the racing there. Right. And I think, what else did I used to do? I can't, I'm so baffled. This was down here, I believe. No, that's wrong. Oh my God, I literally can't remember. Can I remember? Right. Should we just see quickly if it works? It, it used to be something like this in a minute. I know that the rear wing was definitely either 9 or 10. And the few times I tried it on 7, my race pace was garbage. I was at 34 laps. Right, so it's one shorter than it was back in the day. So I can probably come down on that. 95 litres normally does the trick. And this might not work on the PC, but this is definitely the sort of PS4 setup that I used to run. Go, go, go. <clears throat> oh, I can't be able to abide by pit speeds and stuff. Until the tires and brakes get done, warm up. Oh my god. I just feel like this car's got so much more understeer than, um, than the, the PS4. It's crazy. Conditions not too bad, like.
tell you one thing I will change. The one thing you got to know about the Renault is the force feedback is very light. So I'm going to put my volume down a bit. Um, well, let's see my configuration. It's literally PS4 style this as well. I used to sometimes, I used to change the brake sensitivity. Sometimes I used to have it at like 35. And then it's just, it's an ever changing thing, man. It's like the force feedback. I change my force feedback when I change car. Depending on how the car feels, I would change this as well. But, um, some cars, like for the Renault, sometimes it's good to go up on the tone so you can feel the rear because the rear is quite light on the Renault. But for this, for the Lambo, uh, Lambo is quite heavy in force feedback. So, yeah. Right, let's see. Let's go back. See if it's a bit lighter. Yeah, that'll do. Feels a lot better in these conditions to be fair. A lot more understeer than the uh, Renault for this section, Jesus. Right, that lads. Oh, that hooked up. Well, this is going to be slower than I went over this one. Oh, first lap. Cool. Oh my god, I'm wide. not as good on the brakes. I might actually try and turn the ABS down. Oh 
Well, they're still coming out like a bloody dream for the last one. Feeling like this car is gonna be a beast around there. I'm telling you. Listen, that Renault. It felt nice. It felt pretty much almost perfect. For for me, the Lambo is quicker without even having to try. That's scary, actually. Mm. It's also very unfortunate if you've picked the Renault. I mean, I probably. Uh, Right, so I might come down on. Where does that put the brake pressure as? 85. Hmm. I'll go to 83. This car is comfortably, I personally think, comfortably going to be doing low 42s on race pace now. I mean, if you're in a Renault and your car's feeling pretty much perfect and you're sort of seven tenths off, I don't know what to tell you. Right. Actually, let me go for the setup actually. No, don't restart. Uh, I mean, this can be a base, hopefully. It should work on PS4 because it's pretty much what I used to run. But I, I remember I used to um, I used to share me and Ironic used to talk setups with me when we used to use the Renault um, in season nine, and obviously I was on PS4, he was on PC, and I'd notice a lot like some of the setups he would give me, they were like almost undrivable to me on console. It was so much like he could run like really sort of low wing, but he can run like two on the front, five on the rear, and stuff like that, and for me when I did that the car would just snap spin kill me in an instant you know what I mean so I knew from there there's probably slight differences in the way the cars feel um, the camber obviously this is a this was the thing that we used to use last season before the patch so I don't know how the tires are going to react to having such high camber but um yeah, hopefully you can still get to the end of the race. I don't know. You're probably gonna have to test it for yourselves and whatnot. But um, straight out of the box, the car feels fast, man. And definitely haven't nailed a perfect lap or anything close to a perfect lap yet. So it's definitely an interesting one. I can imagine the Audi's gonna be absolutely flying around here, absolutely flying. I think the AMG will probably, if someone faster than the AMG, they'd probably easily get pole because I think over a lap the AMG is just a beast. But I know them tight hairpins in a race, so it takes so long for the AMG to downshift. The downshift protection is a bit overbearing on that car. I can imagine that they'd be under pressure in the race. I think, and um, I hope some some fast guys are in that M6 as well. I want to see a plethora of just different cars this season. I don't want to see it dominated by Audis and stuff like that. I want to see... I know the Heidi is going to be in the Z4 again and that's good because I doubt many people are going to pick it. But I want to see some Z4s. And I, I, basically I want to see all the guys that I know that are similar pace. So you've got like Jardier and the Heidi and I think Murphy's up there. I think that guy that was in that Janelle, I'm sure it was Murphy. He's rapid. I know he's rapid. I could just tell. So hopefully they all go in cars that give them a chance at winning the championship but they're all in different cars and that'll be fun to watch as I'm going to be a very interested spectator this season. Um, I could actually go down on a preload for this car and might make it turn a little bit more through the corners. I'll tell you what, I'll go down on the preload 
maybe to 90 and I could just sort of just for safety or maybe go up on the power ramp to 70 because in some of the corners you could feel that it does get a little bit loose but that's just like if you're paranoid in a race just for just to know that you're not gonna bin it coming out of a corner just pull it to 70 and see how you get on so hopefully that's solved your, your issues try and copy that setup down give you a base to start from uh, definitely definitely easy 42s in the race in the Lambo I think I actually think that um, these conditions are actually faster than time trial. I'm pretty sure. Okay, warm the tyres and brake. Take it easy for the first few corners. This time trial no is just a hell of a lot of understeer. But the cooler conditions I think are better for the tyres around the faster corners. But I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I miss the sort of practice sessions where you're just setting up a car and stuff like that. I've just been out here killing FIFA now. Killing FIFA. Definitely, I think later on this year, I've got to try and organise some some races, man. I think uh, on P Cars One we had a I had a birthday race, which was pretty much amazing. It's probably the best race I've probably ever had on the PS4 by by a country mile. So many fast guys, so many people. The times are crazy at Road America. I might tr try and do like a Christmas race. I know everyone don't do nothing for Christmas apart from eat, and then for the rest of the day you're just bored. I might try to do something like that. Let's see what's going on. Let's just try and do a decent outlet. Corner feels a lot better in the runner, to be honest. Oh my god, that's a better show. I'm so bad. I find it very interesting that the Lambo feels a lot better for the last corner than the Lambo. I'm not, not too sure why.
nailed it right there. What a pity. Try not to hit the brakes for that second to last one because it seems to unsettle the car a little bit. Just like ease off the throttle. That wasn't a great last corner. 43 something. Show the pros and cons, and if you change something, but well you've got to change to eradicate it. I think you've got to sort of in the Lambo, you've got to have your brake balance similar to this. If not, maybe up one. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this. It just it just doesn't slow down. And engine braking. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to run the Lambo. Some people run it like like this and then engine braking all the way on 10 and all of that jazz which I mean it's fast it might even be a bit faster in quality but um, yeah I just I can't get on with it I've tried it many a times I just think in the race having a, a lot of rear downforce just to me just seems quicker personally um, I say nine, 9 or 10 you can get away with man if it's nine, maybe you go up on engine braking by one. But for me, a lot of the time it was ten. As I said, when I strayed away from it, I did eight. I did eight at um, Sugo, I think, and my race pace just died, absolutely died. And in practice, I was flying at Sugo last season, unbelievably flying. I couldn't even tell you. And then when the race died, oh my god, I don't know what happened. Even though it was wet, I still ran eight, and because in practice it was just fast, but it came to the race. Oh my god, I lost pace. It was crazy. So I say stick to ten or, or nine or whatever. Um, brake balance fifty-seven, four or five on the engine braking, man. That's what I would say. Some people run it two or three that's cool as well but just make sure because on this track there's a lot of corners where you're sort of trail breaking so the back end can get loose so that's the kind of thing you've got to bear in mind I'm not too sure how high or low to have the radiator but I'm gonna stick it at 65 and to be honest even last season even though mechanical failures were off we started running the uh, radiator open anyway because even though it wasn't getting damaged I think it was sort of reducing the power at times when the engine was getting too hot so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let's see. What's my favorite GT GT3 car? Um, what in real life or in the game? No problem, detox man. Try it out. See see how it works. Um, what's my real, what's my favourite GT3 car in the world? Um, do you know what? That's a good question. I don't even know. I, I mean, in the game, in, in P cars, for me, it was the Lambo. I just like the way it sounds. Or, yeah, I just like the lime green. I like lime green as a colour. So, I like the Lambo. Um, but the Bentley, man. Oh, the Bentley. There's nothing better than, in, for me in real life, there's nothing better than the sound of that Bentley, man. 
nothing. Cars, it's just a beast. I like the new Bentley as well. I think it just looks, it looks better than what it is when it, it looks better than the pace that it actually has in real life. But yeah, I like the Bentley a lot. So probably yeah, Lambo and Bentley, two of my favorite cars. Um, a lot of it's really just related to the sound of the car, to be honest. I like the sound of the cars, like I like the sound of the AMG. Do you know what I mean? So that's it. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of people that love the Aston. There's a lot of people that love the Aston. It's definitely got a it's got a raw sound to it. You know what I mean? Um, if any of you guys are on PC, or obviously some of you on PC, some of you got race room. Oh, mate. Some of the sound on race room just quality. It's just, just so quality. Um, well, so, um, I'll tell you what car I don't like, and that's the Porsche. I'm not. I'm just not a Porsche fan at all. Oh, God. I can't. I can't. They're just the laziest designers in the world. Every car's looked the same for the last 20 years, man. Change it up. Do something new. Do something different. Please. Please. Um, I've, got, I've got a good question. What, what manufacturer would you like to see doing a GT3 car? I, I, I would like to see... Um, Hmm. Maybe like Toyota or something doing a GT3 car. That would be pretty good. Because I mean, they got the engines for it, man. I mean, I've seen, I seen the, the Renault RSO1 only once in a race. I think it was at Dubai Autodrome. And that must have been like an Asian Blanc Pain series or some, some, something like that. But it was terrible. My first racing hero. Um, probably, probably Schumacher. Yeah, no, nah, not probably. Yeah, it was definitely Schumacher. It was a weird one because when I first started watching F1, it was about two races after Senna died, I think. And I was really young. The first season I watched the F1 was about two races after Senna died and then at first I hated Schumacher because obviously I wanted I wanted the British drivers to do well I wanted Damon Hill to win but it was a uh, it was Spa what year was that 90 95 or something like that when Schumacher started 16th and he was like fifth by the end of the first lap and then he was just destroying Damon Hill on a wet track with dry tires and after that I gave up I gave in I was like this guy is just he's too good man and that was it after that I just followed Schumacher and then after Schumacher left I pretty much just I liked Raikkonen after Schumacher left I'd say I was a bit of a Raikkonen fan and then I, when Vettel came in I liked Vettel and that's where I'm at at the moment and now I think once well not even once Vettel leaves I think Leclerc is going to be the new guy I follow People expect because I'm British that I just I'll be a Hamilton fan, but I'm just uh, I'm just not. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. I'm not like one of them guys who says that he ain't got no talent or something. Hamilton's definitely quality. He's definitely got it, but I'm just I'm not like that's just not who I support. Oh, Ricard Rydell, yes my guy, yes my guy, Ricard Rydell in the Volvo touring cars, yeah. For, for British touring cars, Ricard Rydell was my guy, definitely. I just, I just love that Volvo. It was a beast. A Lancia GT3 car, that'd be crazy. Yeah, man. It's a sad thing that happened to Colin McRae, man. That guy was, he was different level. I actually think rally drivers are the best drivers in the world because when you take other drivers out and you try and put them in a rally car, they can't do it. Even Formula One drivers, they go to rally, they go to rally, and all they do is crash. I'm telling you, man, rally drivers—they're the most skilled guys out there, man. You see how fast they're going, and effectively, they just—it's like driving down an alleyway at 89, at 80, 90 mile an hour, constantly just. 
tearing through a little alleyway. Do you know what I mean? That's 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 scary stuff, man. Yeah, Villeneuve, he was crazy. That guy was crazy for his time, man. It's crazy. Uh, I think what what's different about back in the day as well is like it was that fear of death. Like if them guys crashed, they were dying. It weren't no, yeah, you crash and then you got the halo protecting you and you get out and dust yourself down and nah. It was if you crash, that could be it. And even even the way he went was it was a it was crazy, man. But he was a beast. That guy had the car sideways all the time. I mean, it's it's just like just the era that I I grew up in. It was just like I just like the drivers I actually saw race. I've only been able to watch Vilna through uh, through videos and stuff, so I can't appreciate it properly. Kind of like Senna, because I started watching after he died. I couldn't appreciate it properly. Like when I seen stuff live, and I thought, Jesus Christ! When you've watched the whole someone, you've watched the whole Grand Prix, you think, Wow, that guy just destroyed it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of good drivers, man. I think like right now in F1, there's a lot of good drivers, but we just need the cars to be closer in performance, man. Definitely. I mean, it's a, it's a good battle watching Vettel and Hamilton go out and stuff, but I know like guys like Verstappen, Leclerc, Ricardo, even Hulkenberg. I know all them guys have got the speed they're just as quick but they just ain't got the equipment man yeah imagine driving one of them old school cars with no seatbelt Jesus Christ like whenever whenever I watch like the the older races even if you go back to sort of like 95 and that you see how much more their heads are exposed and how much there's like sort of there's nothing in the cockpit do you know what I mean if they crash the way their body must rattle between the, the, the edges of the cockpit is crazy yeah Tommy Mackinnon he was a quality driver as well wasn't he I tell you what was um, what was sort of crazy to watch because a lot of the time I used to stay up pretty late um, and watch a lot of IndyCar races. Um, well, I started getting into IndyCar races, and uh, mate, I never forget the sight. Of, I watched the race where I think it was Greg Moore. I watched the race where Greg Moore died. I saw that live. Oh my god! I, I just couldn't understand why anyone would race in that series. It's like it's that dangerous. Do you know what I mean? I just, just the image of that guy car flipping into the wall. I just knew he was he was gone, man. Was crazy. <laughs> You've been watching races since Nicky. Nicky Lauda. Yeah, Nicky Lauda, he was a fearless guy. He still is, man. I like him. He's straight up. He doesn't mess about. He just says how it is. I think everyone likes Nicky Lauda. Um, so let me have a look at the... What is the calendar for this season? Someone type out the calendar I'm gonna look through the cars and I'm gonna we'll look for the tracks and see what I think is gonna be fast and what track um, I know Algarve's the first race what's the second race I think it was a uh, was it Silverstone or something uh, I can't remember um, I know Dubai's in there this season Algarve, Silverstone, Dubai. Damn it, I've lost my trade of thought. I know Nordschleife's in there. Or Nürburgring, Nordschleife, whatever. I don't, I, I can't say I, I watched a lot of Rallycross. Um, the, the only thing that I, the only like racing now that I watch religiously is F1 and Blong Pain. And that's it. If I catch some of the other stuff, I like I'll watch MotoGP. If I catch it, I'll make an effort to watch that. Um, but religiously, I will watch F1 and Blancpain. 
Algarve, Silverstone, and uh, Launch Life. Well, Algarve, I think, I think that's an Audi track, if I'm honest. I think the Audi's going to be super fast around Algarve. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. I remember even Season 8, when the Ferraris were way quicker, I was able to keep up pretty much. Like when we was in practice, I was able to race with CJ and Carl, and I could keep up in the Audi. So now that that's been the Ferrari's not there anymore, I think the Audi's going to be the go to car around here. Um, and then you got Silverstone. Hmm, Silverstone. Um, Silverstone's a fast track. The Audi's obviously quick round the corners might be a little bit down on power compared to the Lambo I think the Lambo could hang with the with the Audi at Silverstone maybe it's a fast enough track um, the AMG should be good the AMG should be quite good at Silverstone I mean you got a couple of slow corners in the first sector and the last corner where I think the AMG struggles a bit but a lot of that lap is pedal to the metal so the AMG will be flying around there um, Nord's Life that's the one track where I think the Audi's going to be getting destroyed to be honest I think the M6 in the right hands should comfortably win that the AMG will be super fast as well and I've, I've heard a few people talking about the SLS man the SLS will be the SLS is going to be a, a decent car for Nord's Life I think um, or Nord's Life or however you say it Ospersleben Audi, Spa, that's another M6 track man, if you check the time trials, there's not a lot of cars can keep up, it's the, the tracks that are at altitude, um, the M6 will be extremely quick, Autumn Park, oh god, oh god, what an absolute nightmare, I, I, I don't know man, I I don't know how I feel about Autumn Park for GT3s. I mean, it might be fun to watch, but I don't know how that race is going to go. That's pretty much just whoever doesn't crash into the barriers. But again, Audi will be fast. The Audi's very pointy, so you can you can throw it into corners and stuff, so it should be quite good. Um, and then you've got Texas Road. Hold on, let me have a look at Texas Road. That's the that's the little dodgy track in it. Where is it? Down, down. This. Wow. Honestly, that's anyone's race. That it's not. That's there's not enough defining corners that's gonna suit one car than the other. But if I had to pick would probably say the AMG is going to be strong around here I think there's not too many real tight hairpin corners where it's going to struggle the AMG should be pretty good around there to be honest but that's going to be a very interesting race I'm actually looking forward to that at first I thought that's just dodgy as hell but um yeah that should be interesting um, I think the GTR will do good at Nordschleife um, and probably it should be quite good at Spa as well but Nords Nords the, the big engine cars are going to be extremely fast Dubai uh, you know what Dubai is a good track for a lot of cars um, the Audi will be fast the Lambo will be fast the AMG should be able to compete depending on what the temperature is with tyres and stuff like that they will be fast um, what else have we got yeah I think Dubai is a kind of an open race because it's it's got enough straight line in it to, to make up for the, the corners where the Audi is going to be fast but um, I, I do Dubai is one of my favourite circuits actually um, Sikito well, we've already seen in time trial what car dominates the Kio. That's the AMG. Literally no tight corners whatsoever. Pure sweeping corners. A lot of um, 
a lot of the lap is flat out, especially the second half of the lap. So I think the AMG will be a beast. No, I won't. I won't be racing the AWR this season. I didn't sign up this season. I just, I just needed a break, to be honest. But I'm definitely going to enjoy watching it. I'm really going to enjoy watching it. I actually thought it started this week. I was quite upset to turn on my my PC looking for the stream to realize that it wasn't even on. But it was cool. I just watched Barcelona batter Tottenham instead. That was quite fun. Drive this track. Oh God, I think I've only ever done this track once before. I'll drive it quickly. It's all 12 o'clock. I've got work at 7 in the morning. What am I even still doing up? Uh, I don't know what the conditions are going to be, so... I'll just drive around it and just see. I'll give it a little sight see, no problem. See then, shall we? Bear in mind, I don't know where I'm going. I hope you guys know this. Just go until the I don't really like the map on the right hand side. Oh my god. Wow, was that unsafe release? Oh my god. This is going to be a crazy race. Oh, I can see it already. This is going to be crazy. Uh oh. I'm trying to drive and look at the map at the same time. I wonder if these corners are flat out, then I think it'll be good. It's just going to be a slipstream train, I think. Qualifying is going to be so important. Oh yeah, if your car's got a small engine, you're screwed for this part anyway. It's just flat out. I don't know. I'm going to try and keep it. Maybe. If you're brave, that's probably flat up. I wasn't brave. Yeah, I think the AMG is going to do bits, but I think it's going to struggle, maybe in this section. Be interesting to figure out the altitude of this track. straight line for this even though obviously this is a corner but you're flat out so this is where all the overtaking is going to be done this is going to be a, actually a crazy crazy race I can see it this time I'm not lifting if I crash I crash yeah it's flat uh oh stop looking
I don't, this is I think it's going to be a close race to be fair uh nah I'm I'm you know what I'm one of them people that I can get as much enjoyment out of watching than I can out of racing I just I like to watch the competition man as I said I'll I watch all the races um Um, I think AOR streams uh, the top two divisions on each platform, I think. So it gives you like six races to watch. Um, I, pr I probably don't, I probably don't watch as much on the Xbox as I should. But PC tiers and PS, PS4, I'm definitely, definitely always going to be watching that. On the, hmm, uh, who do I think's gonna win the elite tier on PC? Um, do you know what? There's some exciting guys in there, man. As I said, like last season, the Heidi was my guy. The Heidi was my guy. I think it's unfortunate that Storm didn't finish the season because I think he would have destroyed it. Um, I don't know if he signed up again. I hope he has signed up again, but. Um, you got Jardia. Obviously, he's just a quality driver. And from I know, I can kind of tell that Jardia doesn't even really practice because he does a lot of uh, does a lot of streaming and stuff on other games. And to race, you know how hard it is to race so many different games and like have so many different muscle memories for different games and just jump on and be fast straight away. That's a hard thing to do, but um. I think oh I think it's gonna be between the Heidi and Jardia and watch out for for my guy Suomi man Suomi's back that guy he's rapid as well um I, I'm not too sure what car he's in um but yes yeah, Suomi's quality driver and Murphy Murphy's another quality driver man that guy I think he came from Xbox as well he's a fast fast guy He's definitely a fast guy, and I hope he's in something competitive enough that's going to give him a chance at a title. Because I love to see sort of five, six guys at the at the front fighting. For me, the best PC race on Project Cars 2 was the first one at, um, at Sonoma. I thought that was a great race. The way how the strategy played out and stuff, I thought it was quality. But um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to sit on the fence. I'm not too sure who's going to win. I need to I need to see all the drivers at least for one race just so I know their uh, I know how they, they they race I know what their race pace is like whether they're consistent enough for a whole race because again I'm Leon the sick one there was a lot of races when he joined there was a lot of races where he was right up there on pace man he was pushing Jardia some of them races in the Audi so he's another very good driver so let's see man let's see Dorking. Yeah, I um I watched uh I watched someone stream on Twitch the other day and I, I see he did a yeah, he was he was already a low forty ones, I think. In I'm not sure if it was quality. I think it was quality. So yeah. Right, for me I'm always someone I always support the new guys, man. I I always like to see a new guy come in who's fast and do well. So I liked it. I liked um who else? I like Scott. I think Scott, he he can race, man. He's a racer. For out of all the guys I watch, Scott is like one of the the best racers. I think. He might not be as fast as some of the 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 other guys, but I like the way he races. He's a he's a tough guy to get past. Um. Listen, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'll be a hundred percent honest, man. I think if the Heidi picked something that was outright like fast, like like the Audi. I think he would have been destroying guys last season, but he picked the Z4 and he was winning races, man. But I think if he ever decided to pick like an Audi or even a Lambo, I think the Heidi would just be crazy out of this world. I seen if I don't know if you guys know the Heidi's got a YouTube channel and I seen some of the laps he done. Oh my god, this guy's crazy. He's crazy. I watched him do a, a lap at. Um, yeah, Shaggy Dan stream here. Yeah, that's it. Um, 
I watched the Heidi do a lap around uh, Spa in the in the Aston Martin. The guy was doing like two minutes sixteen something. Mate, if you if you just look for his channel, man, he is insane. That guy, insane. I see him. He done. Um, he did a, a two minute fifteen in the in the M6 around Spa. It's just like wow, a two minute fifteen is wasn't even that bad on PCars one, let alone PCars two. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that guy's had for breakfast, but he's definitely quick. But he, he picks different cars, man. That's I like that. He doesn't always go for the fastest car, but yeah, should be interesting. In the Aston. Wow. Your mate Murph. Is that the same? I'm trying to think. Is that the? Did he? Is he from Xbox? That Murph guy. Is he? Is he the one I'm talking about? Who's in the Janelle? Because if it's him, there's no way he should be in tier two. Because he's rapping. I know who. I think the guy that I'm talking about. If you go on the P cars leaderboards, I think he's got the fastest time now at Sakito. And I'm pretty sure that was a guy who competed in season nine in the Janetta. And he's just a beast. So yeah. But we'll see man, we'll see. But I better get off man, I got work at seven. Seven in the morning. And I'm up streaming after twelve. You know, one day, one day, this all this streaming malarkey, one day this can become a job and then I'd have to worry about getting up early in the morning. Actually, I'll still have to worry about getting up early in the morning because I'll take my kid to school. But, yeah, man. It's been real. But, I'll, maybe I'll probably stream tomorrow and take it from there. But, um... Wow, the NSX. NSX is another car that Project Cars just completely disrespect, and they need to need to give it some love. But yeah, anyway, guys, man, thanks for watching and all that jazz. I'll see you guys tomorrow if I do stream, and if not, I'll definitely stream sometime next week. But anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.